Hello there, Mr. Bruce. Hi, my name is Dr. Mishra. I'm one of the psychiatrists that work here in the, the outpatient clinic. Uh, I've come to talk to you today about your father, uh, Mr. Bruce. Uh, I'm sorry to uh, hear about some of the, the difficulties that you and mm. um, the family have been having uh, with him. So I've come to talk to you today about his diagnosis and, and how we're going to, to help your father moving forward. Um, so as I said, I've got some information about how, how difficult things have been, but it'd be useful just to get some a more recent um, picture of how, how your father's been yeah. doing. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, he's he's not great. The last two years he's had um, four mini strokes and each time he's right. had, yeah. it, it appears to be that each time he's had one, his memory loss is kind of, is, in, is increased. Right. And, and yeah. over the last two years he's had, uh, sorry, over the last year he's had two. Right. And then yeah. the most recent one, the memory since then has just, yeah, it's been really, um, lacking you know okay. just simple simple conversations that we have he seems to not remember the things that we've okay. spoken about or if okay. we've been shopping he's not remembered what we've done and i see no, that must be very difficult to, to see and then yeah and, and prior to these memory issues how, how would you have described him before yeah, yeah you know previously you know his career was as a lawyer yeah, and okay. um you know yeah. he was very successful in what he did okay. um i think that over time though you know he's just forgetting Sure. days of the week and yeah. the appointment times that he's okay. had and sure and i think that's certainly been the the observations and concerns that um your gp has, has had yeah. as well and i think your your gp had arranged for a um a, a scan of, of your father's yeah. your father's brain it's something called a ct scan uh, so i wanted to discuss the results of that that scan with you okay. um, uh, and as i said i think the, the the observations that we've had about your father's memory had, had concerned us and the 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 um I'm afraid the results of the, the scan show that, um, that there are damage to some of the, the blood vessels to, to your father's brain. Um, and it's in specific areas of the brain that we know are responsible for, for memory and for, um, for, for his sort of general level of functioning, really. Okay. Um, does, that, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, so, we, so we're from, from that, um, the result of that scan... Um, showing damage to the the small be small blood vessels that, uh, that are, um, as I said, that in the areas of the brain that are responsible for memory, combined with what we call the clinical picture in terms of your your father's um, memory difficulties, also combined with the the history of of, of what we know with your father in terms mm. of these these mini strokes that you'd mentioned, um, lead us to him to us feeling that he has a diagnosis of what's called a, a vascular dementia. Okay. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of that condition before. No, no. I mean, we we came expecting the worst, and they've right. kind of read up on dementia. Dementia, yeah. but um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so so I mean, um, so dementia is actually what we, is 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 an umbrella term for an, a number of different kinds of oh, okay. dementias, of which uh, vascular dementia is, yeah. is one. Um, where, as I said, areas of brain function in this case are are are. are impaired because of a, a lack of blood supply to those areas right. if, that, if, if that makes sense yeah um so um so what I'm, I'm, I'm afraid with this condition it's not um reversible um uh, in, in, in as with the dementias they're what we call a uh, a progress a progressive illness so yeah. so our aim with managing your father is to prolong his memory as 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 best as we can yeah I mean, so, how do we, how do we help? Him? Okay. So, we, you know, it can't get better. But how do we? Yeah. No. No. Sure. Um, so, really, the, the what, in terms of our treatment for him, it's really just to prevent any further damage to to the to the to these blood vessels, you know, and and so and really try to prolong his his memory. So, the so the first things that we we would need to do is is um, look at looking at all the things that could potentially cause damage to his blood vessels. So I understand that your father used to smoke, but he doesn't do yeah. that. Um, he doesn't do no, that anymore, so that's, no. so that's excellent. Does he drink alcohol at all? Very occasionally. Okay, that, that, that that's fine. We just need to do some of the blood tests just to check his, his cholesterol levels, just yeah. to see if um, they're, they're significantly raised in any way. And if so, we can ask your GP to prescribe what's called a, a statin medication, which is basically a medication to help to help manage the cholesterol levels um, right. uh, in his system. 
I also know that your father did have a, uh, is treated for for blood pressure problems. So, yeah. So and, and some, he's on um, he's on some aspirin and some uh, yeah. uh, a beta blocker called the yeah, yeah. Along to to manage that. So so again, I'd be we'd be liaising liaising with your GP just to make sure that uh, those medications are at the correct dosage, okay. and so that we're doing everything we can from a, a physical perspective to. Um, to, to manage that yeah. uh, for uh, for him. Is, was there anything you wanted to ask about that at all? I mean, so those medications, but none of the three don't actually impact on. They can't reduce. They they don't help the dementia itself. So is there is there a medication that he'll be going on for um, that? Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid there's no um, there's no actual medication specifically for a, a vascular dementia. I mean, you might have if you've read about dementias, there yeah. are medications for for things like alzheimer's dementia right. uh, but not specifically for for vascular dementia because the the um the reasons for him your father developing the, the memory problems is because of a, of a blood supply issue um does that does that make sense yeah okay um i appreciate the is visit there, sorry no no, um, no, no so is there then so what is it that we because obviously we've yeah. talked about medication yeah work and what other well, things yeah can we sure do no, so absolutely so him? so so you you, you and your, your father will receive the support from a full what we call multidisciplinary team so there'll be um doctors nurses um physiotherapists to help with his mobility um, and then there'll be a specialist dementia nurses called um, admiral nurses who can help um, help look at what the home environment is like and help support the family okay. and, and your father um around that so you won't be alone certainly in that issue yeah uh, and that we'll be obviously can be continuing to monitor him uh, in clinic uh, and then and continue to to make sure that uh, the memory his memory difficulties are as prolonged as we we possibly can yeah we've only had a limited amount of time today so i'm going to give you some um, information if it's about vascular dementia and i'm happy to okay. see to, to, to see you again to discuss those yeah thank you okay